We started uh, with the idea of laminating foam to siding back in the late 80s. Uh, it was at that time thought impossible to bond foam to vinyl. My name is Pat Culpepper. I'm the president of Progressive Foam, and we're going to talk today about the process of laminating contoured foam to vinyl siding. We understood that if you could put a contoured foam backer behind vinyl siding, we'd make that vinyl to feel look feel like wood, look like wood, make it more durable, and we it also enabled it to do some new things, like have perfectly flat surfaces, uh, have wider surfaces, be made in darker colors, and so we, we really wanted to work to try to figure that out. And in earnest, in 1992. We started bonding in a very simple rudimentary fashion. We would cut those into contoured shapes that match the back of any vinyl siding panel. In this plant, we probably make now today probably 3,000 different shapes of foam to line up with 3,000 different kinds of vinyl siding. We're gonna cut that with a hot wire. That hot wire is gonna come into that block and cut down from the top through the block uh, to cut those shapes out. And it's really cutting into a block of foam that has a lot of variables in that block. It's critical that the foam is cut perfectly right and that the foam is straight. Uh, and there are stresses in a block that makes, wants to make that, that foam to be cambered or curved. So in the process, our engineers have to take all of those variables into account and they have to create a, a CAD program that will wire cut that out of that block and do it 24 hours a day, six days a week, uniformly, day in and day out, regardless of conditions. So our equipment is very specialized. We built this, we designed the equipment from scratch. The equipment is built for us. It's unique to this application and it's really not useful for any other application other than insulated vinyl siding. So that when the material comes to the end of the line, there will be two product inspectors that will literally look at every single piece. There's a scrap layer that will be peeled out of that that is just the cutouts between the parts. Scrap layer goes into the grinder and all of that material is then goes into a recycling operation and is made into another completely different product. So there really is no waste in the process at this stage in, in our development. The products is, are then stacked and carried over to the lamination line. When they get to the lamination line, these parts will be fed in one piece at a time into a gluing section of that lamination line. And as it's fed in, the, the feed rate is very specific. The temperature of the adhesive, the adhesive pattern, and the type of adhesive is all specific to a specific kind of siding panel. So uh, once the, the, the siding will come through the adhesive section, it's gonna be mated with the siding. And uh, it's important to know the siding manufacturers typically run the vinyl siding, they put it into a carton, that carton is shipped to us. We take the vinyl out, we adhere foam to that, that uh, vinyl panel. That goes through a nip roller. That nip roller has a specific kind of pressure that's designed to make sure that that bonds perfectly. That nip roller also mates the two parts to make them fit together perfectly. Those, those parts are then simply just put back in the same carton that it came out of, the same transfer carton. It's typically put back, right back on the same pallet and put, on, put back on a truck and sent back to the manufacturer for distribution. So the machine itself is simply conveyors and, and hot melt equipment uh, and application. So the magic is really not in the machinery. The magic is really in the, the cutting technology, the CAD programs and the machinery itself, the adhesive technology and knowing how to use it, what to use and how to understand what the vinyl is, what the application is, and what the correct matchup is. And then it's really in the people that are on the line that are watching a million little details and they're doing that like it's, it's seamless, like it's easy when it really isn't easy. And they're there, our final quality inspectors to make sure that the product that gets on that home is the kind of product you put on your mother's house. And that's what we're trying to do here every day. So that's the, that's the process in a nutshell.